So, Altspace is dead. And what does that mean for the Altspace community? And what does it mean for all the content that was on the platform, like all the worlds and the events? Uh, so basically, I wanted to make this video to share the news with everybody and also react to what the community has to say and maybe share some of my own input. But if you look at the Altspace website, this is what you're greeted with. No more login page and no more worlds and events to look at. Uh, just important notice, Altspace VR will be shutting down on March 10th, 2023. So that's the last day you're going to get to go uh, be able to go into Altspace. They have an article titled Altspace VR to sunset the platform on March 10th, 2023. When Altspace VR was first launched, our vision was to create a place where people from around the world could connect and socialize in real time. It was a bold vision. And with the help of our passionate community, the platform became a place where users made lifelong memories, formed cherished friendships, found love, and even married IRL. That's true. I know a lot of people who made really great friendships, and I know a lot of really great people that I met through Altspace VR. So it's sad to see that this platform is going away. As we look into the future, we see the opportunity for VR expanding beyond consumer into business. And now we have an even greater goal, a more open, accessible and secure version of immersive experiences in the metaverse. This is really interesting to pull out because I guess they're not stopping work with VR, just consumer VR. They're not finding that the social VR platforms are as lucrative as they once thought they were to be. And I guess that makes sense because there's little to distinctify what social VR has become versus other popular games like Minecraft, Fortnite, Roblox. And this is what I thought coming up in the next sentence. They are shifting their focus to support immersive experiences powered by Microsoft Mesh. And uh, it's interesting because I think about a year ago, maybe two years ago, um, Microsoft Mesh was advertised on the Altspace website as something you could sign up and join. So I thought that Microsoft Mesh would be a beneficial thing for Altspace VR, but it seems like Altspace VR doesn't quite fit within Microsoft Mesh. Let's take a look. This is what Microsoft Mesh is. Um, it looks like kind of like Meta Horizon, but we can see that they're, they're having the emphasis on the HoloLens, which I think is really great. Mixed reality is definitely where Microsoft leans on the spectrum of this whole industry, and I really like that. So if Microsoft Mesh moves in that direction, I think that we're still seeing good things. Yeah, I guess you can kind of see here what Microsoft thinks that the metaverse is useful for. Um, it's going to be more enterprise fo focused things and less consumer focused things like gaming. So here's where I found out about it. This was posted yesterday. Someone says here, if you have world templates built in Unity, it's pretty straightforward to get them into VR chat. So that's really good for our world builders. Also, the Horizon Worlds community has come a long way in the past year. For those who don't build in Unity, world building in Horizon Worlds is a lot more powerful. I've tried that before and it's pretty visual too. It's like building an alt space, but way more intuitive. This person says Mesh will take its place. They spoke about it on the notice and I'm unsure about that if Mesh will actually take alt space's place because as you saw, the avatars were different. And if you remember old announcements about Mesh, they actually used alt space avatars as the avatars to be seen in, in their metaverse. Um, but that doesn't seem to be the case anymore. This person says, I just want another app with templates and kits that I can use to build. Is there any level like Altspace? I've tried so many apps like Engaged, Immerse, Frame, Banter, Villa, Let's Connect, and Partial that pop into my head now, and none give me the building tools Altspace does. This makes me sad. Um, I think basically you're not gonna get what you had on Altspace. In my opinion, what Altspace, the world building tools that they had or whatever tools that you're talking about were a little dated and hard to use anyway. So I would suggest just go to another app and learn how to do it better. Maybe use Unity or one of those professional softwares and you can learn how to make projects that can go into lots of different games. I also have Worlds and Horizon and Banter. So if anyone needs advice on joining those, I'm happy to help. So yeah, if, if you want to go to these other platforms, it seems like the Altspace community is spreading out. This person says, I knew it, lol. This person says, uh, it would be so amazing if Microsoft saw record destroying numbers of people going into Altspace on March 9th. Um, and I'm sorry to say that I don't think that's going to change things. I think that they already made their decision and it's part of a bigger picture. They're saying that there's an adults who play Rec Room uh, group within Rec Room which is nice to see. So if you didn't like interacting with the kids in Rec Room, you can go only interact with the adults if you join their group. It's probably pretty similar to Altspace VR Pals uh, where they have a Facebook and they organize uh, meetings and stuff. This person says, let's put on a huge venue goodbye party and trying to get everyone on Altspace to come. And I agree, that would be super cool to see. Just a nice send off. Um, maybe even I will go to that if I hear about that. Yeah, check out this awesome event. I guess this is like a sign off. Yeah, thank you for coming to all the events. I remember these guys too, when I used to go to the events. This person says, made some lifelong friends in Altspace and also had some of the most memorable VR events ever. Yeah, and so I guess in the weeks leading up to this, there were some rumors going around, especially in this Facebook group. So I did see them 
and it was talking about the imminent doom that was coming for alt space. So we all kind of saw this coming, but it is unfortunate to see still. This was probably the best take I had seen. This user says they should make it open source so fans can develop and host private alt space servers. So check this out. Daisy says we have around 20 alt space worlds in VR chat now, so you can join them uh, with the alt space group in VR chat. And when you go, you're going to be only with alt space people, no kids in sight. So that's pretty good. <laughs> oh my God, that's so interesting. The alt space world, but with VR chat avatars. That is so weird to me. They're all like, everyone did their ready player me avatars. So there's no one here except maybe this person who has a different avatar. Maybe this person in the back too. Everyone's got the ready player me. So they're all like freaky humans. I feel bad for people like this who really spent a lot of time in alt space who maybe spent most of their free time in alt space, especially during the pandemic, and now they're not gonna have that spot. It's sad, like that is the real reason it's so sad to see it go. I think one of the problems was that um, the social VR platforms failed to do what they were intended to do. And I think that we saw that all over this time that Zoom and other video sh platforms like that were actually the more successful cases. And so if we're taking talking about the metaverse and using these avatars and presenting ourselves digitally, there's still room for it, but it's probably gonna look more like this than, uh, than having a video game dedicated just for it. That isn't to say there won't be certain advancements. I don't think that we're gonna be staying in like Zoom territory for too long, but the technology isn't quite there and neither is the funding. So it's it, that's clear to see. Uh, then they continue, over the coming weeks, we encourage the many creators and developers who are part of the Altspace VR community to host final events and download their content. Uh, and they provide some information for how to do that. So if you are a creator on here, check this out and download your information before it's gone forever. Uh, and then they thank everyone who used Altspace. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll say now, thank you to the Altspace team. You guys made a really cool place for, to hang out, especially during the pandemic. That's when I got into it. Um, so yeah, big ups to you guys. Thank you for making such an awesome space for a while. We look forward to what is to come, including our launch of Microsoft Mesh, a new platform for connection and collaboration, starting by enabling workplaces around the world. In the near term, we are focusing our VR efforts on the workplace experiences, learning from and alongside our early customers and partners, and ensuring we deliver a foundation that enables security, trust, and compliance. Over time, we hope to extend the consumer experience as well. Looks really good, um, and I really love the approach as opposed to what Meta has done, right? As a, the biggest player in the XR industry, they really focused way heavy on the consumer too much and gave everyone this false hope that VR and these social VR platforms are going to be uh, the next place to hang out basically and, and the most successful businesses to start. But I think it was all pretty misleading and we're seeing that now with these good decisions. Even Meta themselves are going towards a uh, business audience now with their new headset and a lower emphasis on gaming content. So all of this hurts the consumer of VR tech. Um, all the people who are still in alt space and other VR social VR platforms what, what does this mean for them? But it's hard to say we didn't see this coming. I used to actually host VR events within Altspace actually every single week for over a year. I had done over a hundred events in Altspace and uh, hosted them over on this YouTube channel called VR Beatbox because that's what we do, we beatbox. We did beatboxing events like concerts, open mics, beatbox battles and stuff. And we had a lot of content on this channel, like even in Rec Room too. Um, but yeah, we did these cool concerts and we actually streamed the visuals of the show into Altspace, so check this out. We had a lot of amazing shows, some that looked like this. Uh, we had some beatbox battles, and there's one here, and I, I just remember what Farrell said at the end of this. Much love to the entire Altspace community. I love Altspace so much. This is probably my favorite application to come into in VR. It's just sad to see, like, after we throw an event and say something like this, that the platform is going. Yeah, and that clip was from 2020 or 2021, probably, when we used to do our events all the time. And we, we really did love Altspace. Uh, we went in there all the time. If you guys remember, show us your beats, we would do that. We also used to beatbox at the campfire all the time, and this was always a good time. We met with random people and just would share our beats. Girl, this cup, the bronze sign, so pussy cup. Hey, I'm just playing so, come and listen to all the words up and spitting all the Yeah, it was a good time. So I don't know where this is going to go, but the reason that we abandoned this platform so long ago that we actually stopped doing our events and we stopped going in there entirely basically at the end of 2021 was because there was no growth for it. We were trying to make a YouTube channel. We were trying to make a business around events and it wasn't working for us. And making a business out of doing events on Altspace VR was not lucrative enough for us and it didn't make sense. So that's why we had to leave. Um, there's still so much more to do and I would love to bring events back to VR or games or something, but I've been focusing more on real life events lately 
And I think that's where consumers maybe should be putting their efforts for now. But who's to say what happens in the near future? I'm definitely excited to see what the Microsoft Mesh announcement is going to be. Um, but what do you think? Let me know in the comments and thank you for watching.